Mitchell, 45 years old. I think it was more about uh, plateauing. Um, I had the training side of things um, down pat, uh, and it was more about understanding the, the diet side of things. So I, I'd lose a kilo here, and then the following week I'd gain half a kilo, and there was no uh, rhyme or reason for it. It was just I was probably, I was on a calorie control of a calorie, you know, low calorie diet, yeah. but I didn't have the balances right, and that's yeah. why I sort of went into you know, doing this tight and tight yeah. to get that, to understand the, the balances that you, and the principles behind it. Don't think it had a great impact. It was always at the back of my mind and I was always um, trying not to let things impact me too much. Mm. Um, uh, rather live in the now and not in the past. So sort of what can I do outside mm. of that? Can I change my diet? Can I do... Can I go for an extra run? Can I, you know, do yep. do another weight session? Can I do another, you know, always trying to be active and, and control what I eat as well. So um, yeah. I mean, you did look good before, but like plateauing would suck. Yeah. Like, oh, it is, and it was at a plateau. It was a kilo here and there, and I, I wouldn't fluctuate from that. Mm. So I think obviously being on a low calorie diet and not understanding that if you're on that the whole time, your body's not going to change. Mm. So I didn't have the knowledge I have now, where yeah, sure, you know sure. you need to have that load up on carbs and your refeeds and you should only, you know, you said the other day, only do it for certain period, eight, eight weeks max, then change your diet or change your routine and all that sort of stuff. So your body doesn't get used to it. And I think that's where I, my body was used to what I was doing. So mm. I wasn't getting anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, nice. uh, I think uh, ever since I've joined here, there's always been a, um, um, it's always been a good vibe about the place. Um, obviously, with yourself um, and the other trainers as well, you know, mm. saying hi here and there and all that sort of stuff. And then, you know, even even being able oh, just little things like being able to bring my kids down if I'm doing a workout, and you know, there's not too much of a drama there. Um, and I just think I generally in the the atmosphere in the place, but plus it's also got everything that I need to do my my type of workouts, which is normally mm. the high intensity stuff and not so much the, the weight training, although learning from the uh, uh, tight and toned about the weight, a bit more about the weights and all that sort of stuff has helped me to understand the mm. whole um, hip training, weight training and all mm. those type of things. So yeah, it's been, the whole, the whole experience has been great. The whole program is great from the, you know, the videos, um, the mindset the mindset Mondays were, were fantastic. Um, early on about habits and forming habits and breaking habits, mm -hmm. creating new habits. Um, and, um, you know, even as far as the music, you know, having the right music for when you're working out and getting yourself in the, in the, in the zone. The simple things, huh? Yeah, just, just little things. And there was a lot of things I was doing that were, were reasonably good, but there's mm -hmm. been one or two which I've cut out, managed to cut out. Um, so that side of it, and I think also the community and being us, you know, even when in the group sessions, you know, pushing everybody along and, good job and high fives at the end and all that sort of stuff. So I think that, that whole um, camaraderie between people yeah. doing it. It was good. Yeah. The results were far better than I expected. I sort of had a between, uh, uh, I think it was six and eight kilos I, you know, I wanted to lose, but also just to tone up and to become um, fitter. Mm -hmm. um, and healthier, which I think I've ticked the boxes on both those. Um, even as far as, you know, the basketball team I play and one of the guys goes, you find your way to a shadow, mate, you know. <laughs> if, if I run past you, you're going to fall over, but it wasn't about that. It's just about being able to run out the game, mm -hmm. recover quicker, um, you know, and just be competitive. I mean, I was before, but I've, now I've got, I think I've got that little bit of edge because I've got a bit more speed yep. and a bit more longevity as far as the... Um, uh, stamina and yeah, and uh, that goes. The expectation, I, I think, the diet side of things was uh, not not a shock, but just what you were eating and how it affects, and you know what times you were eating it, and 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 how you could eat, you could still eat reasonably well mm. and feel fulfilled and still get results. So that, that was the, the biggest take thing away. Yeah, yeah, take okay. away from it.
Oh, I'd probably recommend it um, probably to my, my sister. Um, I mean, she's doing her own weight loss thing at the moment, but I'd probably recommend it to my sister. I've even spoken to her about my mum, who's a little bit, she's sort of in her 60s now, but she's still active in the gym. So, mm -hmm. And um, probably my youngest brother, he's not so much... Uh, he's probably got a bit more of a, he had a knee reco probably 15, 15 years ago and he's, he's always been a bit scared about to give it a, mm. put pressure on it and all that sort of stuff. So probably just to give him a bit more confidence, I suppose. Yeah. Out of 100, I'd probably have to go close to 95, 96%. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. I like that. I'll so that. I just think even just little things like the, the get togethers and the, um, you know, simple things like the yum powder and, and, and always being there for advice or, you know, just to bounce ideas off and all that sort of stuff. So I think that part of it has been phenomenal. So, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, talking to the other people and seeing what results they're getting and different things that they're doing with their diets and stuff. So it's, yeah, it's been good. I suppose the only doubt I had was, um, would I be able to make the changes that I needed to make? And I sort of, Cross that head after the first week. Smashed it. Yeah. Absolutely. So just, as I said, the, the mindset Mondays and the um, you know nutrition Wednesdays and even the physical Fridays and just the, I suppose the motivation you get out of those things, but also the little one percent things, you know, the music and mm. you know changing habits and all that sort of stuff. So yeah. and, and forming new habits, obviously, that are going to stay with you. Yeah. So the way I mean, the way I've been explaining it to people is it's just a. It's just a, uh, a rebuild, really, a mind, body and soul rebuild. And you, it's a lifestyle change, which um, I needed. And, uh, you know, I'm 100% better for it. So, nice. So, thanks to you. Yeah, thank oh, you. Hang on. Thanks to you. Yeah. <laughs>